This is part two of making a radio menu for changing materials. So we've already made this uh, UI and in this video we're just going to make the spawner object, the object that spawns the menu. Um, that is this object here with the with the paintbrush icon and a collider on it. So we're going to make that uh, today. It's going to be a quick easy video and then in in the next video we're gonna make the three scripts that make all of this work now as always if you wanna skip the tutorial just go to the unity asset store check out our mobile VR interaction pack and this is included in the next version of the mobile VR interaction pack that allows you to download this uh, little project and uh, essentially skip the tutorial just get the uh, unity package the other thing I want to mention here quickly is that when I made this tutorial when I made this uh, uh, material changer I referenced this tutorial here from board to bits games and so I put a link to this tutorial series in the description I watched uh, part one and part two of the of these videos um, to help get the concept of bringing all this together to get the menu part finished so uh, thanks to uh, boards and to bits for that and definitely check out their channel for some great unity tutorials with that let's get started so this is where we left off yesterday on part one and uh, we got the UI we got the button made so now we just need to write the scripts to bring everything together now so far we've just made the canvas and looking at the uh, at the other example at the at the complete project here, uh, we see there's the paintbrush that you look at when you open up the menu, and that is not a part of the canvas. So here's the canvas, and then this is a separate uh, game object. So we're going to make a new game object for the paintbrush icon. It's going to have a collider, which is this small round circle that's what opens up the menu and it's also gonna have a sprite on it and that's the the paintbrush itself so we need to make a brand new game object and the reason why we're doing this is because uh, we don't want it to be a part of the canvas the canvas is just for the buttons to select the material the canvas gets created and destroyed at runtime so we want to be able to to position this icon uh, wherever we want so if we were to have a you know some object like this cube and we wanted to uh, this was the object that we wanted to modify then we want to be able to place this object anywhere uh, because depending on the game you know maybe maybe we want it up here in the corner for this object or maybe we want it down on the floor we want to be able to position this wherever we want for any object that it's changing the material on so I'm gonna control Z here and let's make a new game object we're in our we're in our project now we're gonna make a brand new game object and this one is the material changer and this object needs a script uh, but before we add the script let's make the let's make the visual uh, part of it and the collider now the collider for this let's create an empty and call it collider and then let's create another empty and let's call this one sprite so for the sprite I got it at gameicons.net and the license on these are Creative Commons by attribution so we just gotta give uh, we just gotta give credit so I did a search for 
paint and there's a paintbrush and but I found a paint roller icon and for the background um, I want it to be transparent so an, uh, an alpha of zero and then for the foreground I want it to be white so 255 255 100 on the alpha uh, or should it be 255 I guess it's just a hundred on this website okay so we're gonna download the PNG of that and I'm gonna bring that PNG into my assets folder here it is paint roller and I'm gonna have to set this to be a sprite and I'll hit apply alright so for this sprite let's just add a component and type in sprite render and the sprite we want to use is the paint roller and that's <laughs> pretty big so that's why the sprite is a child because we need to be able to adjust the uh, the scale of of this game object it's at zero 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 so it's right in the middle and for the collider let's go ahead and add a, a mesh filter and the mesh that I want to use is is the same mesh that we're using for uh, f for the button here so on the button if we go back to the canvas on the panel button we made this circle mesh yesterday and then we scaled it down and and that same mesh we're going to use on the collider so that's this P cylinder one that I made in Maya yesterday and I also need to add a mesh collider there it is so you'll see that this is I want to position it near the center of of the menu here that means it probably needs a height of two the X would be at zero so that's about you know, right in front of the exactly in the center of the menu um, that's not important though because when we script this the menu is gonna spawn and we're gonna tell it to spawn at the middle of this icon anyway so we don't need to we will never need to line that up uh, so we got we got the paint roller icon here that's and we got the collider and you're gonna see that the collider remember when I made it yesterday in Maya I wanted it to be the same size as the whole entire canvas because it needs to it needs to scale to the size when we're looking at the menu and it's opened but when we're not looking at it we want it to be real small like this uh, so that the menu doesn't open up until we look right at this uh, paintbrush icon so now we have the material changer game object uh, built and we're ready to add all the scripts